Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to understand how you can do data-driven testing within Postman. Now, why do we need data-driven testing? I'll give you a complete example so you understand the context and what exactly is data-driven testing. So, till now, say for example, this is one of the scenarios that we were using so creating an issue type story in an existing project right now we have also seen that there are many issue types that can be created within the project right the only thing we have to do is basically when we get the issue type okay when we are basically uh, getting the id of the issue we simply need to here we are specifying the story okay so we are getting the story id and then st storing it is in the variable issue id and then passing it into the create issue type okay so create issue type call accepts the issue type that you want to create right so issue id of the issue type that you want to create so tomorrow if i want to create a bug or any other issue type that is supported within that particular project i just have to basically go ahead and change the issue id here and pass the issue id for a bug for example i'm going to create a bug or a task or some other issue type that is supported within this particular project of Jira. So now would you be, so if, if I say, you know, there are 10 issue types that are supported within this particular project of Jira and you have to test that the creation of all those issue types is working absolutely fine. One way is basically you duplicate the whole folder again and again, and then in get all issue type in the issue ID for each of that, okay. You change it to bug for the next in the next folder then another folder you create you mention it as create issue uh, task in the existing project or create issue bug in an existing project create issue subtask or any other issue type that is being supported okay so this is very inefficient way of handling this type of scenario and that is where data driven testing comes in picture right now what if we have the capability within the tool or we develop that capability in the tool so that here we have the flexibility of passing whatever issue type that we want to create and automatically we know that if we pass the task here or if we pass the bug here then that issue id for that particular bug or task will be stored in the issue id right so the only flexibility we need here is basically to pass this value dynamically through an external file okay so that is where we will be utilizing either a json or csv both of them are supported within postman so you can store what all issue types that you are trying to create okay and then based on those issue types or the names of the issue those will be passed in as the iteration okay and i'll explain you all of that so at the moment we are hard coding it right so let's say for example i want to create a bug so here i'll change this value to bug okay and then if i send this particular request now the issue id will contain the id of the bug okay now if i go to the issue type story or create the issue type or send this particular request this is again story is hard-coded but this time the issue id is bug so it should create bug for me in jira okay so if i send this particular request and go to jira here let me refresh and see that the bug got created you'll see that zcsp213 and this is the type is bug it, it has been created okay so now how we can target or how we can achieve that if there are 10 different issue types that i want to create then i will externalize that issue name in a file and then that file our script will read that particular file okay and depending on the number of issues that i define in that particular file if there are five or ten it will do those many iterations and create all those issue types in the project when create issue is being called okay so that is the point of data driven testing instead of manually duplicating and creating different issue type or different uh, running your script with different data again and again better to externalize that data into the file and then utilize that file to have the iterations and the script automatically reads that file goes through line by line reads that what type of data i need to pass in this particular iteration executes the script then goes to the next line okay executes the script with a new set of data that is what data driven testing is all about okay so now let's quickly go ahead and create a csv file first we'll understand through the csv file and then through the json file how you can achieve data driven testing okay 
So let me open the Excel sheet and prepare the data. So I'll prepare that file here in the desktop and postman collections folder. So I'll simply go ahead and right click and create a Excel sheet. So I'll say new Excel sheet and I'll say that's it test data dot. Let me open it and we'll save it as a CSV file when we save the file. So now what we have to basically provide the data here, right? So first thing is issue name. Okay, so let's start with just one thing. All right, so issue name if we pass in here. So for example, if I pass in the issue name as story, okay, then story should get created if I pass in as bug, bug should get created if I pass in as a task, then task should get created. Okay, so let's create three as of now. Okay, story, bug and task through the iteration and this is the heading, the issue name. So this is what we have to pass in our script and because there are there is three line of data then each iteration will pick one set of data and store the issue id okay for for story in the first iteration then for the bug it will create the bug and then for the task it will create a task and then the script will finish okay so this is very basic bare minimum set of data so let me go ahead and save this okay so i'll go ahead and save as and let me save it in the postman collections and i'll name it as test data dot excel and save it as a csv comma de delimited file okay so test data dot csv now this file has been saved ignore this message there okay and now you'll see that csv file is there okay test data dot csv now how we are going to do the data driven testing here so we simply have to go to the collection runner okay so in the postman what we'll do we'll simply go to the collection runner okay and then click on the runs and you'll see the run order okay so previously we have also specified the run order okay let me remove the run order because we have specified that set next request so it won't move to the create request so let me remove these okay save it why i'm removing it because i just set this run set next request for three requests so it will ignore the rest that is why i'm going to remove all of those Okay, so I have removed those uh, now the in order to do data driven testing. So you know that this sequence the run order is basically fine get project get all issue type user assignable and create issue type, right? So currently a story is hard coded, but then eventually when we do data driven testing, we can simply say create issue type, right? So it, it's, it is not specific to a issue type anymore. Okay, so now what you have to do here is you simply have to choose the file. Okay, so I'll simply say select file. Okay. And we know that file is in the postman collection. We'll simply select the test data.csv. Okay. And now you will see that it has automatically detected the data type, data file type. If you simply click on preview here, okay, you will see that we have the iteration. Okay. How many iterations this particular script will get executed and what will be the name that will be passed, right? So story, bug, and task, right? Now, before that, we have to also do some changes, right, in our script because when we do this preview so still at the moment in our script we are still hard coding this issue name right so now we have to go to the script here okay and when we are saying get issue type for a project okay then what we have to do is at the moment you will see that i have still hard coded this value here okay the bug or the story which is not going to work if we Keep it hard coded. So what we have to do in order to read this value from the CSV file, from the external data file, right? So there within the postman, we know that we have a object postman. Okay. And then if you say PM dot iteration data, okay, so you'll see that we have the iteration data, right? So this iteration data method will or this property will read the data from the data file provided okay and not something which is hard coded right so we'll sim simply say pm dot iteration data dot get okay and then whatever variable we have defined right so in the file we have defined what the heading is issue name okay so we'll simply say okay pm dot iteration data dot get issue name from this file okay and then if you simply say get we simply have to provide the string okay then issue name so what this statement will get is it will get the issue name okay and then finally we'll get the id of that so this should basically fetch that issue name okay which will be in the first case the story so this will get replaced with the story and it will get the story id all right and that will be stored in the issue id first time then it will be the bug and then it will be it will be task and three with the three iterations three different issue names will be picked and those ids will be stored and the new issue types will, will get created absolutely fine 
okay so if we go back to runner so we have saved this particular file anyways you will see iterations automatically because there were three rows in the file okay uh, then three iterations have been counted automatically and if you want to delay between uh, the api calls you can put the delay there uh, otherwise let's simply go ahead and run this okay so let me run the api test jira cloud so you'll see that it is basically running okay multiple iterations so you'll see three iterations and six tests right and total duration everything okay so you'll see that three passed okay so first one post create issue type okay and then get issue then again the second one if you go to the let's say if we get to the request you will see this time the issue type id is different right and then if we go to the third one which is basically create issue type this time the id is different which is for the task okay and same thing we can basically go ahead and see on the ui as well okay so if i refresh this so first time 214 would be the story okay this is the story 215 is bug if you see and then 216 is the task okay so this is basically now we have been able to achieve the issue creation through the external csv file and this helps us to expedite our testing right now you imagine if you had to go ahead in the collection duplicate this manually enter those values right how tedious the overall process is how inefficient the process is and that is where if you go ahead and use the iteration or basically the data driven feature within postman okay so we'll be able to get any number of issue types that are supported and in one go in one collection execution we'll be able to run all of these iterations okay with different issue names that we want to create and create those issue type and ensure that yes our api or the whole flow the api is able to or api is working as expected and all the issue types that are supported within the project are actually getting created successfully okay so this is the brief about the data driven testing within postman and how you are going to achieve data driven testing using the csv file so this was the csv file in the next video we'll understand about the json file before that now this is just one attribute that we have used right so next video let's try to get the second attribute so for example in this particular request okay now this is the the issue id we are passing externally so for for example we also want to pass in the different say for example different issue type okay so in that particular case what we can do is we were getting this issue title how we were getting this issue title through the random statement right so we can have the statements also mentioned here okay and then use those so in the next video let me explain you if you have you know multiple attributes that you want to pass in the request you can have multiple columns here okay so for example here issue title i can have another column for issue title i can have different titles here whatever title i'm looking for and then in the iteration i use those issue types as well along with the issue name right so if i have something else that i want to use in the next column use that another attribute and have those values accordingly okay so let let's um stop this video here in the next video we'll continue further with the data driven test so that's all for this video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching